this video, I'm going to ch tell you how the chip shortage happened. Um, so first off, if you're new here, thanks for clicking on the video. And if you're already subscribed and you came again, thank you. Um, so these semiconductors power the world pretty much. Like anything that uses power, um, they're using electronics devices and factories that make them are being affected really badly because of the shortage. Um, stuff that's like used with, or the chips are used with is like phones, dishwashers, um, fridges, cars. There's a lot more too. Um, the GM General Motors is like one of the biggest, um, motor car manufacturers in the world. And they announced that they could be losing out on like $2 billion from this. And it's because they have to close like manufacturing companies that they have um and these more advanced semiconductors are used for like for in vehicles are for like the electronics like the screens they have these days and then the less advanced chips are for the power steering and then as these cars are getting more advanced they are needing more chips so i'd say that they're being infected the most that's my opinion um from 2019 to 2020, there was a 6% increase in the onto semiconductors purchased because of COVID-19 when everyone had to quarantine, they were buying electronics and they needed them for work and kids were just buying more video games like Xboxes, PS4s, um, I don't know what that one though, no, tablet what things called, but, um, in 2019, there was $412.3 billion um bought in semiconductors and in 2020 there's 439 billion so that's like a six percent increase in one year these chips are made out of like silicon and it's um transactors wired into it and these circuits are used for um pretty much anything with power like i was saying earlier um if you got this far into the video Thanks for watching, it means a lot, and please like the video to get this to more people. And if you want to see more of like how to make money as a teenager, investing in stock market, like knowing what index funds are good and what single stocks are good, um, please subscribe and I post every Monday and Friday for like, well, I post every Monday and then Wednesdays is like little fishing stuff and then I post every other Friday and maybe might start posting every Friday. So have a good day. Thanks.